I think PI3 kinase is an important target in follicular lymphoma, and the idelalesib approach is uh, effective in relapsed refractory follicular lymphoma, which we didn't discuss much today. However, it is not without toxicity. Duvelisib and some of the other uh, targeted agents have a similar toxicity profile, though effective. There are some newer agents, recently copanlisib, a PI3 kinase inhibitor approved in relapsed refractory follicular lymphoma, has a uh, similar high efficacy without the added toxicity of some of the previous generation PI3 kinase inhibitors. And another inhibitor that's in the development, Umbrellasib, PI3 kinase delta inhibitor, um, is another agent that I think soon will be approved in follicular lymphoma with efficacy and, and less toxicity. I think the issue with monotherapy is that single agent activity in a lot of these agents, also abrutinib, venetoclax, is low. And how to combine them in um, rational combinations with uh, tolerable toxicity pro profiles remains to be the main challenge. I think as we develop better prognostic indices to predict um, poor outcomes to upfront chemoimmunotherapy will help us better uh, use risk-adapted approaches to combine these novel agents with standard-of-care backbones as we're currently using, and one day hopefully move towards a chemo-free approach.